guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Uh, today we're going to talk about some idiot tech lord simps out in uh, Silicon Valley that are paying top dollar to give themselves a better than 3% chance to date. And I didn't know how to make this thumbnail, but these guys are paying between 75 and 150 grand for a chance to date. And yeah, and just a chance. And here's the weird thing. I did a video on this a little while ago and it was kind of an abstract story, but it, come to find out guys, more guys, and especially guys that have big incomes out in Silicon Valley. And this is just from today. I, I did a video on this several months ago, but it's, it's gaining steam. Tech workers getting leg lengthening surgery that costs up to 150 grand. These guys are literally buying three, two, three inches on their legs for even just a shot at dating. Uh, Self-conscious tech workers are reportedly taking extreme measures to add a few inches to their height by forking over six-figure payments for painful leg lengthening operations. Uh, Kevin uh, Debiparshad, Debiparshad? Uh, the head of the Nevada-based uh, Limb Plast X Institute, said workers from the tech sector compromise a significant chunk of his patients for the cosmetic surgery procedure. And again, honestly, this is probably because those guys are, you know, L.A., San Fran, big salaries, uh, able to, you know, when you're, when you're making a couple hundred grand out in tech, Silicon Valley, it's probably pretty easy uh, to drop, well, not easy to drop this money, but it may be worth it to you. I don't know too many plumbers in uh, middle America that can afford this kind of thing. The operation reportedly costs uh, 70 grand to 150 grand, depending on how many inches the patient wants to, quote, grow, as well as thousands of dollars more in follow-up costs, GQ reported. I joke that I could open a tech company, uh, the surgeon said uh, to GQ. I got like 20 software engineers doing this procedure right now who are here in Vegas. There was a girl yesterday from PayPal. I've got patients from Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft. I've had multiple patients from Microsoft. These, are, these people have too much money. Let me just say that right now. And um, let, me, let me finish this off, and then I'll kind of go into my rant about this a little bit. But they say the, the leg lengthening process requires a painful procedure in which a doctor breaks the femur in each of a patient's legs and inserts extendable metal nails. The nails are gradually extended over the next three months by one millimeter a day, eventually making the recovered patient uh, several inches taller. Now, it's not really, I don't like that description. When I did the other video, they had it better where they kind of put a, they do put a pin, which is not a nail. They they surgically insert a pin above the break, and then they insert a pin below the break, and then they cut through the femur because you don't, you don't just, what are you going to, you don't just break it. And then what they do is as the material between the, the two gaps starts to close with, with bone material, they stretch it a little bit more and keep stretching and stretching and stretching. Now, breaks oftentimes will uh, grow stronger than the original bone. So I've heard, I'm not a doctor, I don't know. But even if that's the case, I have to tell you that I, I still firmly, firmly believe that you're going to screw up your balance, your athletic ability, your ability to run, lots of things. And yeah, you may be able to circumvent or get get past some of those things um but i just don't but the fact that they're paying 150 grand for it and here's the best part let me read this next part they say the surgery also carries a lengthy recovery process that includes relentless pain that stretches the nerves the muscle and tissue of the legs to an almost excruciating degree according to gq's report one customer identified as 23-year-old Chicago-based software engineer named Allen said he underwent the procedure after developing a deep insecurity about his height. A girl who he had a super big crush on, like, roasted me for it. <laughs> so, number one, I mean, good on you, young man at 23, year old, uh, 23 years old, making that kind of money. Good for you, Allen. But... He decided to spend between, again, 70 and 150 grand plus return check-ins and checkups to make sure everything's going well, all because a, a deep insecurity about this height, a, a girl who he had a super big crush on, like roasted me for it. So he had one itis, and she didn't even, 
She didn't even really like him. She just roasted him for it. And he's like, I'll show her. I'll grow nine inches. And then after, or, or three inches, not nine inches. I, I wish we all could grow nine inches. No. Um, he said, I'll, I'll get uh, three inches taller and get from five foot six to five foot nine. That's where I got the nine inches from. Uh, it took him three months uh, recovering from the procedure. And, and uh, here's the best part about it. I guarantee you in those three months, this girl was out dating other people doing her thing, didn't know Alan even existed. And if he showed up and was like, look, I'm taller, she'd probably be like, I still think you're a loser. Or now you look, can you imagine showing up to that one girl? And she's like, I don't know, man, you just look funny. Like your arms look tiny and your legs look too long. Uh, Alan spent, uh, let's see, sorry, another patient, New York based operations trader named Brian also indicated he got the operation to improve his romantic life. Now, you notice the similar trend here. Now, I'm five foot, I, I tell you guys all the time, but I do have new viewers every once and again. I'm five six, sometimes five seven, if I stretch really tall and maybe wear thick socks. Like my driver's license says five seven, but I'm also getting older, so I'm, sh I'm sure I've shrunk some. I don't know how all this stuff works. But the point is, I've had no problems dating. I've had no issues with women. Now, granted, uh, it's not as easy as it used to be when I was heavily dating back a while ago. But even now, I mean, it, it's, it's not enough to spend really a good down payment on a house and put yourself through this kind of pain just to get a shot at dating. Because if a woman says, I won't date you or I don't think you're attractive because of your height, she's not really the type of woman you want to be with. I mean, you know, if a, if a woman gets shamed by a dude for her weight all the time, uh, yeah, she may lose some weight, but if she came back around, he's not going to be like, oh, wow, you're skinny and totally hot with a bunch of loose skin. I want to be with you now. That's not how any of this works. Uh, Brian said, a lot of the times I would get rejected. I was like swinging a hundred times and like connecting with four or five. That's a 5% uh, connection rate, which actually on the dating apps today isn't that bad. But again, do you really want to be with somebody that's going to shame you over your height? Because this will be the same sh girl that shames him because now his legs look disproportionate and everything else. Uh, the standard operation adds about three inches of height, but patients can add up to six inches if they're willing to have the same surgical nails, but again, screws, pins, implanted in their tibias. Cash-strapped customers are allowed to cover the cost in installments. So now you're going to be paying for new legs. Can you imagine six feet or uh, six inches? And the reason why I say six feet, again, I'm getting all these numbers confused. You can tell I haven't had my coffee tonight. I'm 5'6". Can I imagine what I would look like being six feet tall? No way. No way. I mean, I, I love going jogging with my dog. My poor boy is 10 years old. He, he's not much for jogging anymore. So usually we go on a brisk walk and then I go do my jogging afterwards. But I like jogging. I like climbing. I used to do ultra marathons that also were like the tough mutter things where they had obstacles. And I like being active. Do you know how much it would kind of screw with you to make your center of weight six inches higher? And now you've got these long gangly looking legs and, and six months or three months or whatever it is of pain and 150 grand for that one for the seven. So maybe it's 70 grand for the three inches because they say it's cost uh, and maybe it's 150 grand for the six inches. Can you imagine being out that money, going through all that pain, and then in the end you look like, I don't know, Slender Man, and you got this really weird body with an awful center of gravity. I just don't, all for an opportunity to date. And, and the thing is, you know, women go out there and they get plastic surgery. Yeah, sure, they get it all the time, but I know a lot of guys, myself included, that if, if a woman has a big set of plastic-looking, you know, chesticles, and her butt's got weird implants and her nose is perfect and she wears all this makeup. You start looking like a Barbie doll. In this case, a guy would look all gangly and weird. They say the Harvard-educated surgeon said patients, uh, patient counts have effecti effectively doubled since re remote work came to the fore during the bug. Uh, Debe Parshad claimed up to 50 patients per month visit his offices. That's starting to get up there. When I did the story before, I, I know they had talked about some cases, but 50 a month just in one office, that means a lot of guys are doing this. 
Uh, the roster of patients isn't limited to the tech se uh, sector. He said he's done the procedure on CEOs, actors, physicians, a nurse, a YouTube star. It wasn't me, I promise you. Not that I'm a star, but, and even a news anchor. Patients are often, but not always, wealthy and share a desire to feel better about themselves. A lot of patients see it as an investment in themselves and not necessarily romantically. Uh, CEOs, yes, the average height of CEOs is closer to six feet. So if you are shorter, you don't get as far in the business world, I have heard. They say stature is such an important part. I think, uh, I think of who you are and how you perceive the world and how they perceive you. Being able to alter that is so impactful. But here's the thing that I think is important about this is a lot of guys say, oh, it gives me confidence. It makes me feel better about myself. I have more, uh, I get more uh, attention from women. You'd probably do this, maybe not quite as well, obviously, because it's all about the sixes. But there, I know many of you guys right now out there that you're like, I'm a doctor or a lawyer or I'm successful engineer or I'm a plumber and I own my own business, whatever. And you're like, I make six figures and I'm six foot one and I'm in really good shape. Women do not give me a second glance. So I don't think it's so much even necessarily about your height or any one specific thing. I think it has a lot to do with how you carry yourself and your mannerisms. And there's a thing they call exuding power. I, You could look into that. I don't, but it's kind of having a, a presence. And, and everybody that's met certain people, uh, certain um, politicians or certain people in, in uh, actors and actresses, things like that, they say they just have a presence about them. I think they're just trying to mask their other problems and trying to give themselves confidence where really if they just improve themselves, they wouldn't have to be doing this in the first place. And lastly, I'll show this. Uh, the complications in limb lengthening procedures, a review of 49 cases, but they, they reviewed uh, the results and complications of 50 limb lengthening procedures were analyzed. They say the mean age was 21 years, and they range from 7 years to 48 years. So maybe a lot of uh, young younger people were doing this, again, for, for other complications. At average follow-up after four, uh, 48 months, desired length was, was accomplished in all but one patient, so it does have a good success rate. But here's the thing. 69 complications and varied in severity. Now, they say only five of these significantly impaired the end results. But the whole point is that there were 69 complications in uh, 49 patients or 50 limbs, however you want to track that thing. So there's a lot of complications with this stuff. And these guys, most of them were saying, I'm just doing it for a shot at dating and I'm going to pay this 150 grand. You know, this is what happens uh, when, we, when we don't have good self-confidence, when we worry about what other people think or say about us, uh, when we're concerned what the world thinks. You'll pay a lot of money. You'll do all this weird stuff. And to me, this is, to me, this is the same as a woman going out and getting, you know, a chest implant and, and fixing her nose and shaving this and tucking that, and pulling skin. Like, I don't have any problems with it. But is it really going to make you any happier or is it, are you still going to be insecure, still have your issues? You might be a little odd looking now or maybe taller, but you're still going to have the same results. I think they're going to have the same results when it comes to dating. I don't know. You guys will let me know what you think down below. Uh, guys, uh, if you're on YouTube, make sure to join me on betterbachelor.locals.com. It's fun. It's free. It's cheap. It's easy. And that's where I'm going to do the fun uh, dating profiles of the day and all the other good stuff like uh, forums and all that stuff. So join us over there today and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.